Hello everyone, welcome to Talking About Wisdom. Today, this is why you should present these yarns. Um, discover the, the stone landscapes, rich cultural heritage. Wow, I've already messed it up and I'm not going to re record this. Cultural heritage and adventurous spirit of New Zealand. Nestled in the Pacific Ocean, this breathtaking country, my home, New Zealand, where we've been discussing about the political leaders lately. Um, stuff like this. Um, uh, yeah, it's been interesting, you know. It's been known for our breathtaking scenery, um, friendly locals, and countless opportunities for adventure and discovery. From the majestic mountains and crystal clear lakes of the Southern South Island, which is like the Marlborough Sounds and stuff, to the, the north the subtropical forest and the white sand beaches of North Island, like where I live in Whangarei, which we have um, Langs Beach and stuff around us, and Bailey's, and um, what else we have? We have Palm Town, good place to go. That's um, we also featured on in New Zealand website and in New Zealand um, overseas stuff. So, in New Zealand, is a natural wonderland wing that's simply waiting to be explored. Number one point for us is the climate, right? New Zealand has a temperate marine climate with warm summers and cool winters. The North Island is generally warmer than the South Island because it doesn't snow up here. <coughs> it doesn't snow up here at all. You know, and we got close a couple of times. It's snowed in Auckland, and it's as far as we got. Um, well, while well, the coastal areas are milder than the interior, and like today, it rained. Be sure to check the weather conditions back accordingly. The temperatures can vary, vary, vary greatly depending on whether you are what time of year it is. So if you're in the South Island, it can snow in winter. Autumn, you can go skiing on Mount Cook, Mount Maraki, go skiing on Mount Taranaki. And if you get Mount Taran Taranaki, you can see there's actually like a circle around around it. It's because it's a um, dock area. So around Mount Maraki, there's a big circle with just trees. Transportation. New Zealand has a well de developed transportation network. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, with options for traveling by air, train, bus, or car, mostly car, and that can get busy if you're trying to go to Auckland. So avoid cars in Auckland, I say. If you plan to travel around the country, it's good idea to rent a car or travel by bus <laughs> or a camper van. Camper vans are quite good. Um, look at those. Um, look up those online because they're quite good at times to travel around. I haven't used one, but I talked to people who have, and they uh, really enjoy going around the camera van. Um, it gives you the flexibility to travel at your own pace. If you prefer to use public transportation, there are many buses and train services available, as well as inter island ferry, which is, yeah, you have Blue Bridge and you have um, Fuller's. Accommodation. As I said, you can use a camper van for accommodation, or you can offer a wide range of accommodation options, including both depending on hostels and the YMCA and stuff like that. We have bunk rooms and stuff, and and we have all the way up to like the Sheratons, the Heritage, and all the other ones. You know, we have think about all those fancy names. We have all of them pretty much, mostly in Auckland and Queenstown and um. And yeah, so public op popular options for budget conscious travelers include backpacker host hostels, as I said, camping grounds, and holiday parks. If you're looking for something more, a bit more upscale, there are many hotels, resorts, and lodges to choose from, as well as homestay, homestays and vacation rentals. We also have Airbnbs, some many, many Airbnbs in New Zealand. And you have options, uh, activities. The, the accountants, Activities and joins in from scenic drives and wildlife encounters to outdoor adventures and cultural experiences. But for me, I did one a cultural experience in Rotorua where we um we learned about the Maori people in Rotorua and we went to mud pools there. That was quite good. And Napa and yeah, we learned about the geothermal uh, power plant they put in. That was quite interesting. You can also visit historical sites 
and Landmark Social Treaty of Waitangi in um, Kiriki or Kururu Radika. That's a really interesting name to say, hey. And, and the Auckland War Memorial, Memorial, Memorial Museum. I'll take a scenic or helicopter tour, get a bird's eye view of the country's thing landscapes, such as the Moraki boulders, such as the Milford Sound, you can go on, on boating trips there, such as you can go to Luge and Rowell, Luge and Queenstown. The Luge is another one. There was there's one in Auckland as well. Luge is a fun. Um, there is an Avenger Park in Auckland. There is there was a there was by River in Auckland that's closed down a while ago. There is a slide park, a water slide park in Hamilton. And there's many just look them up, there's many, many, many things to do. Oh, also there's Rainbow Museum in Auckland, which is R B like a D D stand of the Gold Coast one. It's like it's fun, but it's not something you do every day. Food and drink are also a big part of the New Zealand experience. We focus on fresh and flavorful cuisine, including seafood, lamb and dairy products. The country has a a thriving craft beer scene, which tastes nice, with many local breweries, breweries producing unique and flavorful beers that they are, can be expensive at times. The cuisine for New Zealand known for fresh locally sourced ingredients and and some in, international influences. You can you find everything from traditional, traditional Kiwi dishes such as fish and chips or fish and chops G. That's what I want to hold. Oh, the international flavors like Thai and Indian cuisine. They were pretty much like any other country in the world. Yeah, multicultural. Even if someone don't like it. Be sure to try some of our local dishes such as pavlova, green mussels, and feijoas. And also, our pies are the best. Uh, our savory pies, which are about yay big, are the best in the world. Like that big. They can be expensive, but they're worth the money. In conclusion, right? New Zealand is a truly remarkable destination. Come to our country because we'll love it for you. We'll love it. With that, we'll leave you with memories to, to last a lifetime. From the stunning natural beauty to the rich culture heritage of our country and the endless opportunities for adventure and discovery, this country has something for everyone. With warm and friendly locals most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to be careful sometimes. So, any country, I guess, get, you piss off the wrong people. Okay. Delicious cuisine and the, the diverse range of activities and interactions. Be sure to have an experience that will be unique and unforgettable. So, don't wait any longer. Book yourself a trip to New Zealand and experience the magic of this incredible country for yourself. Yes, I think you guys watch me fucking Mali now. Yeah, peace.